We like to think that our presidents have a measure of gravitas, that we could put them on a pedestal along with the Caesars and the great conquerors and they wouldn't look out of place because they would have that dignity. And Lincoln is someone who just doesn't always seem to have that. East Coast audiences thought he was kind of a Midwestern hick and probably not that sophisticated, at least from the standpoint of a kind of more sophisticated East Coast politician. He could be ugly to look at. These cadaverous cheeks, he had this enormous thick head of hair. He was one time sitting for a photographer and the photographer told him, as photographers always will, just look natural. And Lincoln responded, that's what I'm trying to avoid. Lincoln tended to use humor to make political points. His stories almost always had a moral. There were plenty of dark moments during the Civil War. So Lincoln had to find levity where he could. Sometimes, though, he could use humor to silence people who were out of line, people who had become wickedly critical of him. The one I think was the most devastating of all was the day that Bluff Ben Wade, radical Republican senator from Ohio, stalked up from the Capitol, up Pennsylvania Avenue to the White House, into the White House, into Lincoln's office, thumping on the desk and saying, Lincoln, this situation in the country has gone to the point where we are beyond recall. Don't you know that hell is not a mile off? And Lincoln sat back and said to him, Senator, isn't that about the distance between here and the Capitol? He didn't have a, you know, a vast amount of political experience behind him when he came to office. But I, I think Lincoln understood where he could bend, but where he also had to stand his ground. 